Hello, everybody, and welcome to your next uh, C++ Lego 5 tutorial. Uh, sorry if I sound really tired. I've been making videos all, all day. Uh, so, but now this is my time to start with the Lego 5. So, hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial. Anyways, we're going to be creating the file manager class, and the file manager class is what's going to be used to handle and loading all the files um, in our game. Okay, uh, so to get started, let's create a class. Clicking Shift, Alt, and C, and we double click C++ class. And we'll name this file manager, and we'll click Finish. Okay, so we have our constructor, destructor, and um, we're gonna have a load content, and that is going to take a vector of vectors, so a two-dimensional vector, vector, uh, std vector, std string and attributes and wait the first one that we'll take in the parameters is a string and we'll call it no constant char file name so first of all before we even continue uh, we'll include the string class oh man I can't even type okay so we include a string and we gotta include the vector class so we included strings and vectors okay so we got our attributes there and last but not least we got to do another two-dimensional uh, vector and we'll call this one contents oh okay so we have uh, sorry so we have our load content uh, function and we're gonna have another we're gonna have an overload uh, and you know what I'll just copy this uh, but the last thing uh, will be a string and that will be identifier okay so uh, let us go to well, well what, we, what we're gonna also need is um, we'll make Right, we'll make a private. Uh, we need an enum, and it's going to be called load type. And uh, we're going to have two different load types: so attributes and contents. And then we'll have a I don't know integer type. And that will be it. Well, actually, we'll have a uh, identifier found, and that's it for now. So we'll say that identifier found. Uh, we'll say ident identifier found is equal to false by default did I spell that wrong should be identifier okay so identifier found equals to false um, and yeah so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our load content uh, method right now so void file manager load content and I'm not going to try and write all that again, so I'm going to copy this, paste, uh, put it like this so you can see it. Okay, so in this function, this is how our function is going to work. So we need to, we need the f stream because we're going to be using the uh, file stream. Include f stream. Okay, so we're going to say std if stream. Uh, we're going to be opening, or we're going to call it open file, and we're going to be opening the file name that we specify in there. Okay, uh, should be straightforward. 
uh, so if open file dot is open uh, then we continue and we can have an else we have an exception or whatever it's up to you what you want to do for that and I will say while not open file dot EOF okay so while it's not at the end of the file so what we want to do is um, we want oh constant chart should be a, a pointer to the file name uh, so I right, don't forget to put that and that should be while okay so what we're gonna have is we're going to have a string and we're gonna name it line and we're going to say uh, SED get line and we're going to be putting in the open file and stored in line okay so we we got that right here so then uh, this is how our file is indeed gonna work so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna open this up right here and uh, that's what I showed the other people okay so our, our file is gonna work like this we're gonna have a load equals and that's gonna stand for um, letting us know that we we have what we're gonna be loading in so we have attributes and contents okay attributes is letting us know what we're loading or what's in the content and the content has what we actually want okay so for example for loading in uh, the images for a splash screen um, the load time might be image and then we can specify um, where where image is stored in the directory and so on and so forth so this lets us know right here this lets us know that all of these are images now we can also um, put multiple attributes on one line so we can say load equals we can say image um, and text so we can load in two different things. We can load in splash like image. We can load in that, and we can load in te text like test one. We can load in a, a bunch of different things um, with this method. So uh, I, I believe that you guys are really gonna like this method in order to load in uh, files. Uh, so we're gonna get the line, and what we need to do is that we need to we need to use a delimiter in order to split up certain things and and put them within our in our vector okay uh, but in order to do that what we need to do is we need to make um, we need to go back to our file manager dot h and we need to make uh, another vector no but it's gonna be this time it's going to be a single vector and we're gonna call this uh, temp attributes and we'll have temp contents okay uh, and yeah so let us continue uh, so what we gotta do is uh, we gotta have a string stream mm, make it right here and we're gonna str so and we need to include that uh, in here so include a stream okay so we gotta we're gonna say um, str uh, we gotta say str and we gotta put in our line. So what we wanna do also is oh, let's let's say we have a variable. So we're gonna add a new line to this. So new line. So we're gonna have another while loop inside here. We're gonna say while uh, std get line. Uh, we're gonna put in the string, uh, the new line, and and um, the the thing that we're trying to separate by so our delimiter okay so we're gonna do that and where we're gonna before we even can do much from that we're not even gonna uh, for now we're not going to um, store it yet I'm going to display it uh, just to show you guys um, what we get from it so I'm just gonna put stdco and we're gonna put new line just for the sake of this tutorial to show you um, how how we're gonna separate certain things so we got to include the IO stream okay so um, yeah that should work so what I'm gonna do is quickly 
in this in this splash screen uh, uh we're just going to create an instance of file manager so we gotta include it so we got our instance right there and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, in the load content we're just gonna say file manager uh, dot load content so our file name is going to be uh, hmm, splash and my, I'm gonna put my extension CME for coding made easy and what we're gonna want to do uh, in our game screen in class quickly uh, in our game screen dot h we're going to want to make in our protected section we're going to want to make uh, some 2d uh, 2d vectors as well so 2d vector vector and string and this one's going to be called attributes and we're going to have contents there as well okay so if we go back to our splash screen uh, we just have to put in attributes and contents okay uh, so just to show you guys uh, how it's going to work oh, we don't even have a um, I don't even have a, a text file so I'm gonna create one quickly okay so I just changed to a lowercase and um, this is just a file right here uh, so let's run this and see what we get on the console window So we did not get anything in the console window. So uh, let me pause it to see if I if I could change anything. Okay, so it turns out I never put the uh, the file in the right folder. Uh, but if we look at here, so this is exactly what we get. So um, the way we're gonna split up the stuff um, is working quite well. So it splits up everything and puts it into a right line. So in the next tutorial we will learn how to um, store them properly and how to use them effectively in our program. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye.